Singaporean world record holder and Paralympic medalist Teresa Go has announced her retirement from competitive swimming. In a Facebook post today, she said her 20-year career turned out better than she had ever dreamt. The 32-year-old also said her blood, sweat and tears were worth every single drop and she wants to continue to make a difference to society. Theresa Goh was born with a birth defect and is paralyzed from the waist down. She's Singapore's first swimming world champion and also a Paralympic bronze medalist. She holds the world records for the 50-meter and 200-meter breaststroke SB4 events. Two years ago, she was inducted into Sport Singapore's Hall of Fame. And she's here in studio to tell us more about her journey and plans for the future. Teresa, thank you so much for coming in and speaking to us. You know, the million dollar question, everyone wants to know, why are you retiring now? Um, honestly, it's a very internal feeling. You know, I've been, I've thought of retirement for a couple of times in this whole 20 year career. And um, most times, all the times before, it never felt right. You know, mm. so that's why I kept going. Um, sometimes logically, people can say like things, and then you say, okay, it makes sense to retire. But if it's deep down, you don't feel like retiring, it still won't be right time. Mm. For me, it just felt like the right yeah. time. Yeah, so yeah. You, you've been mulling this for a while. It's been 20 years. <laughs> yeah, right? I mean, in a 20 year long career, it's bound to come up once in a while, you know, sometimes because it's tired, because you're just like sore or in pain or. Um, for me, especially after I went through baiting and, and kind of felt like the lowest point of my life, I think that was also another time I considered like maybe it's time to stop. Mm. Um, but I mean, those times it all just never felt like I could really leave, you know. But then a lot of questions <coughs> are surrounding, you know, the Tokyo 2020 Olympics are just around the corner. I know. So why now, right? Um, I, I did think about it, but I, I also th thought that if I do go to t Tokyo, it would just be kind of, coasting through and I didn't want to end my career like that. I wanted to end my last games giving everything I've got, you know, mm. and be happy with whatever I have achieved. And I felt like if I went to Tokyo, I would kind of be wasting time because I, I don't think I would have problem um, qualifying. It's just um, uh, the results. And I, I also don't think that I would have uh, bettered my real results. So I felt, you know what, like in my own like conscience, I'm I'm gonna do it the time that I feel is the best, which yeah. is now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So you, I mean, it's been a decision that has that has been some time in the making, and I can imagine it must have been a, a tough one to make. Oh, so hard. <laughs> but you've been such an inspiration to all athletes. Uh, now going forward, I mean, you know, what what does it mean to you now? I mean, what you've done. I mean, does, do you think about about how you've changed sports in Singapore? Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a hard thing to kind of think about because I I always feel like I'm in a bubble. So yeah. I feel like I, I'm very internal. Like I don't really view myself from outside, and it's hard to kind of um, think about being. Uh, my place in the world, you know, it's, I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> it's just a very internal, I'm very like internal feeling person. Yeah, yeah but um, I mean, I, I really, I just kind of base it on what people tell me and I think, I hope that I, I've made a difference and I want to continue to do that, you know, mm. in, in whatever capacity I can. So know? what would that capacity <clears throat> be? You know, what's, what's for you next? What's next mm. for you then? Well, well, personally now, I think we're just, I'm taking a break for a bit. <laughs> Um, we are heading, I'm Pingsu and I are heading to Iceland on Wednesday with a couple of friends for a quick holiday. And then when I come back, I'll be doing some um, job searching. <laughs> Is this where I ask people to hire me? <laughs> this could be a good point to do yeah. just that. Yeah, I mean, I am really quite keen to do whatever. I'm, I'm not sure where I'm, yeah. where, what I'm interested in. Yeah. And so would, would it be along the lines of swimming, coaching, you know, would that be a natural progression? Is that something that you're also thinking and mulling about? I, I'm definitely interested yeah. in coaching, um, but I don't have the qualifications yet. So, I mean, that is the direction I want to go in. Right. But like right now, I think uh, I'm quite open to a lot of different, um, like learning experiences, you mm. know, uh, this is just going to be kind of a new exciting chapter in my life and I'm very keen to kind of learn whatever I can and kind of widen my horizon, you know. Yeah. Well, I mean, as an athlete, for all these years, uh, Teresa, you've lived a life of intense discipline, <laughs> all the training mm. that's involved. 
uh, non-stop almost because you're also training in your mind right in between competitions do you really just relish the chance now to, to just breathe <laughs> right I've been waking up past 11 every day <laughs> <laughs> fantastic that like it's good. different <laughs> um, yeah but I mean in in all honesty I'm really gonna miss everything about yeah. training you know the hard parts the good parts I, every single part of it you know mm. I'm I do not like waking up at 5 30 but I'm some some part of me is still gonna miss it you know <laughs> It's, it's just how, because it's, it's been such a big part of my life for 20 years, and yeah. that's not something that um, is going to be easily just forgotten like mm. that, you know. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to miss a lot of it. <laughs> and we are definitely going to miss you, and we wish you all the best going forward. Do let us know what's next on your plan. Yeah, Have a wonderful you. holiday thank as you. well, and, you know, all the best in the future endeavor. Thank yeah. you so much. So we've been speaking there with to, um, Singapore Paralympian Teresa Go with us in studio.